sounds beautiful, guys, but I have something very fundamental, so I, I'll just sneak in first. So, the problem with Mendelssohn um, is that it's so beautiful, we tend to want to just sniff, sniff every flower. Oh, this is, this is beautiful too, right? Oh, let's go. So let's, let's see if we can make this a little bit more flowing, because, you know, he, he loves these repeated smaller notes, and it can sound a little bit busy, and sometimes it's hard to sort of hear the peaks and stuff. So one thing I want you to maybe try, um, so it's in 9-8, uh, right? Um, try feeling it, though, instead of feeling three beats. And right now, actually, it's almost, sometimes it gets kind of slow and it feels like we're actually feeling nine beats. Try to feel two beats. Do you know what I mean by that? So if you look at, look at play the very first thing, um, if you look at the very first thing in the piano plays, just play the very beginning. Da -di -da -da. Right? So wh why would a composer do that? Why does Bach do that? Why does anyone do that? Give us an incomplete measure. What's the point? To set it up. Well, what is it setting up, though? Specifically, it's setting something up. Very specific. When we start on the beat, right, it does this, right? We go, here's the beat, here's my other foot, I'm ready to go. But by not starting on the first beat, it creates a certain amount of Whoa, where are we going? We have to move forward, right? So when I say feeling this in two beats, try to feel it as something, there's always going to be a, a beat within the measure that's not as important as the other beats. So in this situation, if you were singing it, and you can sing it, I'm going to sound great singing this because I'm getting over a cold, so. But, right, so there's this, that second middle beat should feel a little bit like it goes here and it comes down a little bit and then you lift it up and so it doesn't feel too much like da dum, dum di dum 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 di dum right that feels a little bit too much like we're marching to our death or something right and we have and our leg hurts a little bit right so, right? so, right? so, so try to make it just a little bit more flowing and think about think in two right so feel a downbeat and then feel an upbeat that brings us to it. Sound of music, right? <laughs> Open prairie or whatever. Yeah.
we can build a tighter connection between you guys' parts. So uh, their entrance is actually before you cadence your phrase, right? So I wonder if there's a way we can recognize that overlap, um, if the pianist can hand it off better or somehow invite the string players in with follow your sound on those last few measures, like right before they come in. Do you just want to try something different with your color and gesture them in? to a hymn, um, just the way it's so written in such block chords. So it is a bit of a challenge to bring out the upper voice, to really make sure that these chords connect and create a really long melodic line emulating the strings, right? I think that's part of the challenge of the writing, um, but I think you're pulling it off beautifully, and it does sound more beautiful that way um, when you apply what Brendan was saying, um, to create more peaks and curves in your phrasing of the opening melody. <coughs> That way, um, even with the voicing and all the difficult, you know, jumping from one chord to another, um, even with all of that, you still smooth over those chord block chords and create phrases out of them. Right? Um, I think that was more effective that way. Yeah. Um, try from the beginning one more time. Keep playing. sound and finish the sound for him. 
Okay? So make sure you give them enough material to work with. from right right same place It's just, okay, so he does a little, just, he's not Beethoven, but he, it's, it's a similar place where you have this, uh, when you learn, right, you can anticipate a little bit, because it's, that doesn't have to be a drama, right, we have to have a sudden tragedy, right, it is right? A diminuendo, but they... yeah, so give it, but, right, said it just made the color really different from the openness, so really open the sound, right, just use more bow, you know, just lots of sounds. Uh, start right, where is it? Did now we just, uh... Pick up to 16? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, pick up to 16. supposed to be, it's a moment for them to really highlight a difference in where the music is going. So that's up to you guys, yeah? If you want to do a little bit more the second time, or a little less, or whatever. Right? A little bit more. Just 
Don't give it to us so easily, yeah? Make us work for it. Two chords. If it were one note, 